Hello, I'm the Commander Xander. I remember it so the Nostalgia Critic doesn't have to. And neither should you. And welcome to part four of my Playhouse Disney review series, where I go back to all of the Playhouse Disney's, well, not all, but the ones that I remember from my childhood, and review them for your viewing pleasure, or for those who'd like a refresher of what their childhood was like, it may be like mine. Part one was Out of the Box. Part two was PB&J Otter. Part three was The Book of Pooh. Part four, we continue on with animals and Stanley. Stanley is a young kid who wants to, he's kind of an explorer to some extent because he has the great big book of everything with everything inside to learn about different animals. And I thought this was a good show to rival that of Zabumafu that was also on during the time. That was for PBS. But I thought this was a good show for those that were interested in what animals do. And so without further ado, I give you Stanley. Oh, by the way, just a heads up, he has a pet goldfish as well as a pet cat and a pet dog. Obviously, the goldfish is the intelligent one. This is Stanley's parent. That's their computer. And this is where Stanley learns about animals. And this is how he came up with a great big book of everything. Now, the one that I'm going to show you was, was one of my favorites growing up. And that's one where he explores about the wonders and the speeds of cheetahs. But the show always started with this theme song. Which, again, was a catchy theme song. And you can see the theme with these Playhouse Disney episodes and shows. Their theme songs were very good. And these are Stanley's friends. So in this episode, Stanley wants to do well for his trick. He gets a gift from his mom that will help him win a 100-yard dash. And they're called Savannah Speeders. And as you can probably tell, they look like, the colors at least look like cheetah shoes. Now Stanley learns about cheetahs. He goes to the great big book of everything. Can you spot the He hate the fish, as you can tell, hates the song. I, for one, find it catchy. Okay, so they don't sing the Great Big Book of Everything song yet. But be patient, they will. They're the cheetahs. They're not badly drawn for what it's worth. The fish kind of gave away the difference between the cheetahs. It's the spots, obviously. Stanley comes back, runs the race, and learns the hard way. Just because you run fast doesn't mean you're going to win the race. As they always say, slow and steady wins the race. Or in this case, preserving your speed. And then once you... Get off to a slow start. So get off to a slow start. Not really slow that you fall way behind. But then once you're closing in, then you make your push. You can't use up all your speed at once. And this is a lesson that Stanley's going to learn is he's going to go back to the great big book of everything to discover how the cheetahs work. Make me as fast as a cheetah, just like on TV. You started off very 
very fast, Stanley. I was quite impressed. But I wasn't fast enough. I don't understand. Actually, you were fast. You just ran out of steam. You really think shoes need batteries? No, 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 no. Or maybe it's not what you did wrong, but what you didn't know. Maybe we need to learn more about cheaters and not your Savannah speeders. Think? Care for another trip into the great big book of everything? Here we go. Yeah. Remember, cheater starts with a Sarcasm, obviously. <laughs> that, that, that was clearly sarcasm by the fish. He doesn't like this song. I, on the other hand, find it very catchy. So they go back into the great big book of everything and understand how cheetahs work. Don't worry, his parents didn't go down there too. This is just imagination just to show Stanley how cheetahs work. They use their speed, but then eventually they wear out. So we're going to skip a little bit further. And this is what Stanley's figuring out. Exactly. See, that is one intelligent goldfish. Golden indeed. And then there go the cheetahs off again after their quick little rest. So Stanley learns that cheetahs have to preserve their energy. That's how you win. That's how you win a race. You need to preserve your energy. See, this is a good show because not only do you learn about animals, you learn about other stuff like, in this instance, preserving your energy. This is a very educational show. Take that, PBS. Actually, PBS was pretty good too in my childhood. I was spoiled. So, as you can see, they were in the race again, and this time Stanley has a different strategy to approach. He preserves his energy. Everybody else gets off just a little faster, and you're thinking, "Oh, wait, Stan Stanley's comic collective. He knows what he's doing now." Boom! <laughs> After Perner's don't fail him now, and he wins the race, going away. Isn't it wonderful when you learn a lesson? Because now, you win a blue ribbon. Blue ribbon? Hey, Jimmy Neutron, might want to take a listen on that. So, that was Stanley. I like that show. It was very, very educational, and it was a fun show. And... I love the graphics. They did a good job sketching out the uh, cartoon characters and whatnot and all the other stuff. And so I think it's very cool. And uh, it's definitely something that you might want to try and find if you can. So that was part four. Stay tuned for part five. Or if you haven't caught the other three parts yet, feel free to watch those. I'm the Commander's Hander. I remember it so that it's not the Creek doesn't have to. And it's the Great Big Book of Everything with Everything Inside.